Hi everybody, my name is Jens Larsen. The half diminished chord can be kind of difficult to improvise over. Very often we find us stuck with just the basic arpeggio and the scale that surrounds it. But there's a lot more material that you can use when you're improvising on half diminished chords. And in this video I'm going to go over some of the quartal arpeggios that work really well for this sound. And I'm going to show you how to practice them, how to find them and also how they sound if you put them to use in a minor cadence. If you want to learn more about jazz guitar, about improvising over chord changes, checking out interesting arpeggios or chord voicings, then subscribe to my channel. If you want to make sure not to miss anything, then click the little bell notification icon next to the subscribe button. This example is using two chordal arpeggios, the one from A and the one from B flat. So, the example is a 2-5-1 cadence in D minor, so that means it's E half diminished, A7 altered to D minor 6. And on the E half diminished I'm using a D minor scale or an F major scale, that would be the same notes. When you want to check out these two chordal arpeggios, then probably you want to check out all the chordal arpeggios of that scale on the middle string set, that would be this exercise. Let's have a look at how these arpeggios are connected to the half diminished chord. So the first one is the one from A, so A, D and G. And of course D and G are just the seventh and the third of the half diminished chord, so they're chord tones, they work really well. The A is the 11, and really this is also almost an E minor 7 with an 11 without any fifth, so in that way that could also work as a voicing for an E half diminished chord. The other arpeggio is this one with uh, B flat, E and A, and uh, again the B flat is the flat 5, so that's a chord tone, the E is the root, so that's also a chord tone, and then the A is an 11, which we also anyway want to have in there. The lick starts with the two ascending chordal arpeggios, so first the, the one from A, then the one from B flat, and then I go down to a G and then move up the scale up to the B flat, which is the first note on the A7 also. Here I'm playing another chordal arpeggio, that's the one from C, so moving up to the one from C sharp and then resolving to the fifth of D minor 6 which is an A. In the first example we had first the chordal arpeggio from A, so this one and then the one from B flat, which was this one. And uh, here I'm starting with the one from B flat also, so an ascending version of that. And then the next one is the one from E, which also works really well. So we have E, which is of course a chord tone, the 11 again, and then the seventh, which is again a chord tone. So if you want to check this one out, you can of course also just check out the top string set with uh, chordal arpeggios, that would be this exercise. The line is constructed by starting with a chordal arpeggio from B flat, so B flat E A, and then using the two top notes here to continue, so E A, and then adding the D on top. From here I move down the scale, coming out on the A, on the A7 altered, so, and then going down the scale again, so down to the G F. And then we get this small chromatic phrase, and then that's turning up to the sharp 9, and then resolving to the A, which is of course the 5th of uh, our D minor 6. With this example I'm using another arpeggio, that's not a chordal arpeggio, but that works extremely well for the half the minus chord, and that's the arpeggio from the flat 5. So the diatonic arpeggio from the flat 5 in this case is a B flat major 7. And then from the B flat major 7 I'm going down to a D and using that as a diatonic leading note to play again the chordal arpeggio from E. So and then on the A7 I'm starting on the sharp 9, so the C, turning on the 3rd, and then down the scale. And then down to the C sharp and ending on the ninth of the D minor 6. Of course there are more chordal arpeggios that you can use 
besides the three that I went over in these examples. Uh, but just to recap quickly, so I'm using the one from the 11th, in this case an A, the one from the flat 5, which is this one, so a B flat, and the one from the root. You can also easily use the one from the 7th, so that's D, G, and C. Then you get this flat 13 in there, but that will work quite well. Uh, in general, you can use most of them. You have to be maybe a little bit careful if there's an F in the chordal arpeggio, especially if you end up giving it some emphasis or put that at the top of the arpeggio. But most of the time you can still get away with using it. A lot of these chordal arpeggios are really good if you're shifting them, which is also what I'm doing here. So I'm moving between several uh, chordal arpeggios, and that's just a nice way of using them, and you can get some really interesting melodies doing that. So that's worthwhile checking out. If you have an arpeggio that you use a lot on a half diminished chord uh, that I didn't talk about here and that you think deserves a mention, then do leave a comment. I think there's always a lot of interesting information being shared in the comments of my videos and uh, I learn a lot from it and I'm sure if you're interested in this topic, if you're looking for stuff to play on half diminished chords, then uh, it's worthwhile just checking out what's being shared in the comments. If you want to learn more about jazz guitar and this is the first time you see one of my videos, then subscribe to my channel. The videos that I publish here every week are on finding some solid methods and good strategies for exploring all the interesting things about jazz guitar and improvisation. If you like this video and you want to help me keep making videos, then check out my Patreon page. It's because of the support that I'm getting from my patrons that I can keep on publishing videos every week. I'm very grateful for that and if you join us over on Patreon, I can also give you something in return for your support. That's about it for this week. Thank you for watching and until next week.